Item SCP-2679 Object Class Euclid Special Containment Procedures A 5km fence perimeter has been established around SCP-2679. The perimeter is to be maintained as private property by MTF-5 Blind Watchmakers. Efforts to prevent SCP-2679's ongoing expansion are underway. New SCP-2679-B instances are to be exhumed at regular intervals. Any observed changes are to be documented. Description SCP-2679 is the site of the Sleepy Oak Meadow Cemetery, located 45 kilometers northwest of Victoria, British Columbia, Canada. SCP-2679-A instances are graves found throughout SCP-2679. As many as three new instances of SCP-2679-A have been observed to emerge in a single day. Tombstones will extend upward from the soil, a process which takes 4 to 12 hours. These tombstones vary in size and shape, but are otherwise non-anomalous. Each bears the name, Jeanette Parslov. Coffins appear approximately 1 to 4 meters beneath each instance, and contain an instance of SCP-2679-B. Instances of SCP-2679-B are the remains of various organisms. To date, personnel have observed over 1,000 SCP-2679-A instances. Manifestations continue to expand out from the center of SCP-2679. Research into methods to prevent the emergence of additional instances is underway. Addendum 2679.1 Autopsy Findings Subject SCP-2679-B-012 Examiner Dr. Richard Briner External examination Adult human female Height of 1.62 meters Mass of 45 kilograms Abrasions on fingers and knuckles Internal examination Physiology consistent with typical young adult Otherwise unremarkable Inspection of lung tissue indicates rapid onset of hypoxic hypoxia Laboratory data Genetic analysis confirms presence of human DNA. No matches in Foundation database. Notes. Hypercapnia is the likely cause of death. Presence of physical trauma indicates prolonged struggle before the subject succumbed to hypoxia. Subject. SCP-2679-B-075 Examiner. Dr. Richard Briner. External examination. Adult human female. Height of 1.65 meters. Mass of 48 kilograms. Acute albinism. Severe abrasions on forearms, hands, and digits. Cutaneous avulsions on distal phalanges. Presence of numerous subundual splinters. Internal examination. Unremarkable. Lung tissue indicates rapid onset of hypoxic hypoxia. Laboratory data. Genetic analysis confirms presence of human DNA. Near identical match to SCP-2679-B-012. No other matches in Foundation database. Notes. Hypercapnia is the likely cause of death. Physical trauma, including significant interior damage to the coffin, suggest a prolonged struggle and possible self-mutilation. Subject SCP-2679-B-129 Examiner Dr. Julia Blair External examination Adult human of indeterminable sex Height of 1.72 meters Mass of 53 kilograms. Acute albinism. Subjects lack hair, 
androgenic vellus or otherwise, visible genitalia, or secondary sex characteristics. Severe abrasions and dermal avulsions across subject's body. Several lacerations present on forearms and fracture in the left radial bone. Both eyes extruded. Internal examination. Internal reproductive organs are absent. Examination of cranium reveals minor yet significant cephalic abnormalities. Pelvic bones used to determine sex, female. Lung tissue indicates rapid onset of hypoxic hypoxia. Laboratory data. Genetic analysis confirms presence of human DNA. Additional X chromosome, XXY, indicates Kleinfelter syndrome, but with atypical presentation. Subject's skeletal system presents as female, not male. Close match to SCP-2679-B-075. Notes. Hypercapnia was the cause of death. Evidence suggests damage to the eyes was self-inflicted. Subject. SCP-2679-B-526. Examiner Dr. Julia Blair. External examination. Human of indeterminable age and sex. Height of 1.79 meters. Mass of 62 kilograms. Acute albinism. Subject lacks hair, genitalia, or secondary sex characteristics. Deformities include supernumerary phalanges at fingers and anophthalmia, both eyes. Severe abrasions and lacerations across subject's body. Numerous fractures and breaks are present, particularly along the maxilla and nasal bone. Three teeth, two from the maxilla, one from the mandible, are broken. Internal examination. Internal reproductive organs are absent. Significant reduction in size of frontal lobes. Acute hyplasia in amygdala. Pelvic bone used to determine sex, female. Lung tissue indicates rapid onset of hypoxic hypoxia. Laboratory data. Genetic analysis indicates significant deviations from human DNA. No match is found in foundation database. Notes. Subject asphyxiated. Internal damage to coffin led to its collapse. Subject was crushed beneath the weight of the soil, preventing respiration. Evidence suggests damage to the face and jaw was sustained during the repeated strikes against the coffin's lid. Subject SCP-2679-B-985 Examiner Dr. Richard Briner External Examination Bipedal Humanoid Height of 1.95 meters Mass of 89 kilograms No discernible sex, age or reproductive organs Acute albinism and lack of hair Extensive deformities are present and include, but are not limited to, expanded mandible, lower maxilla, acute hyperdontia, atypical dental morphology, elongated secondary phalanges, protruding approximately 6 cm from fingers and toes, anophthalmia, both eyes, and recessed absent nasal dorsum. See attached photo. Subject has severe lacerations and dermal avulsions across its body, along with acute swelling in the abdominal region. Internal Examination Approximately 20 kilograms of soil removed from stomach and intestinal tract. Severe structural aberrations throughout subject's skeletal, pulmonary, and central nervous systems. Laboratory data No matches in Foundation database. Notes. Subject asphyxiated. Internal damage to coffin led to its collapse. Forensic analysis of gravesite indicates subject persisted in burrowing upwards for 20 minutes before succumbing to hypoxia. Addendum 2679.2 Recovery On the 2nd of September 2014, reports of an expanding cemetery led to the discovery of SCP-2679. 
in addition to 14 instances of SCP-2679-A. Nine non-anomalous graves were found. All were exhumed for relocation. Of particular note was a tombstone with the following inscription. Jeanette Parslov, 1994-2014 Daughter, sister, mother, wife. You were far too young to lose your life. Whatever it takes, do what you must, whatever the cost. Come back to us. Upon exhumation, the grave was found to be empty.